Hey y'all, my name is Dr. Mitch Tan. You or a loved one may have been told they need a pacemaker. If so, you probably have lots of questions, like, why do some people need pacemakers? And what do pacemakers do? How are they placed? To answer these questions, let's first think about how the heart normally works. Your heart is the engine of your body, responsible for pumping blood to your brain, lungs, and other vital organs. Typically, the heart squeezes somewhere between 60 to 100 times per minute and responds to signals from the brain to adjust the rate at which it beats. You can think of it like driving a car. For most in-city driving, you may be able to get around just fine in third or fourth gear. But if your car needs to get on the highway, you depend on your car's engine to be able to shift up to higher gears to achieve those speeds. Just like a car hopping on the highway, your body also has shifting needs. For example, if you go from walking to running, the work your muscles perform increases and so do their needs for oxygen and other nutrients. The delivery of this fuel is dependent on how much blood flow your heart generates. And in general, more heart beats means more blood flow. Signals in the body, like adrenaline, act like your foot pressing on the gas pedal, increasing how hard your heart pumps as well as the rate at which your heart beats. This combination results in increased blood flow and your ability to do more work. In some people, the heart loses the ability to increase its heart rate or beats at dangerously slow speeds. This may be due to electrical dysfunction related to aging of the heart or damage to the heart from other conditions, such as heart attacks, heart surgery, or diseases impacting the electrical function of the heart. Regardless of the cause of slow heart rate, slow heart rates can lead to severe symptoms and in some circumstances can become life-threatening. Imagine if your car's engine were stuck in first or second gear. Your car wouldn't be able to move very fast. Worse yet, imagine if your car's engine stopped working entirely while you were on the highway. Just like a malfunctioning engine, inappropriately slow heart rates can result in major problems too, like symptoms of shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness. If the heartbeat stops entirely, these pauses in blood flow can lead to passing out, or in the most severe cases, even death. So what are pacemakers? Pacemakers are devices implanted in the body by cardiologists or cardiac electrophysiologists. These devices monitor the rate at which your heart beats and can increase the heart rate if it's too slow or if the heart experiences a sudden pause in its activity. Pacemakers today are sophisticated and can detect your body's activity level. If the pacemaker senses that you've increased your activity, like walking up the stairs or jogging, the pacemaker can be programmed to support your activity by increasing your heart rate if your heart doesn't do it on its own. Pacemakers come in different shapes and sizes. The typical pacemaker is the shape and size of a Girl Scout cookie. Think about the size of a Thin Mint, while other pacemakers are the shape and size of a thimble. Some are implanted underneath the skin with small wires that connect to the heart, while others are implanted directly within the heart chamber itself. Depending on the type of pacemaker and how frequently it's used, the battery life for pacemakers averages anywhere from 8 to 12 years, after which the battery is typically replaced. Modern pacemakers also communicate directly with your cardiologist. They transmit routine reports to the clinic, which allow for virtual check-ins of your pacemaker's function, providing you with the security that your device continues to work well, all from the comfort of your home. If you need a pacemaker, your cardiologist will help determine which type is most appropriate for you and how the pacemaker should be programmed to best support your needs. The typical pacemaker implantation is a minimally invasive procedure that takes somewhere in the range of 45 to 90 minutes, depending on the type of pacemaker implanted. Most pacemakers are placed under conscious sedation, which means that medication is given to help the patient avoid discomfort and pain, and to be comfortable enough to doze while still breathing safely without the need for a breathing machine. Additionally, Anesthetic or numbing medication is also used in the area of the pacemaker to reduce discomfort. Modern pacemakers are typically implanted just under the skin of the left chest or directly in the heart through a vein in the leg. These procedures are less invasive than other types of heart surgeries, which require the rib cage to be opened. Because of this, recovery after pacemaker implantation is much faster and most patients go home either the same day or the day after their procedure. Recovery focuses on two main goals. First, avoiding infection at the implantation site. This means taking care of the site and avoiding any activities that result in exposure to bacteria until the incision is fully healed. This is something that can take a few weeks. 
Things to avoid typically include prolonged submersion in water, such as swimming in pools, soaking in hot tubs, or taking baths until your incision fully heals. Showers are usually okay, but need to be done carefully so as not to disrupt the implant site. The second main goal is to ensure the pacemaker and its connections to the heart have enough time to heal in place. The most common types of pacemakers use wires that connect the pacemaker device directly to the heart. Over time, these wires heal in place and become very stable. But in the first few weeks after implant, the wires can potentially dislodge if they're pulled on too hard. Your cardiologist will counsel you on the types of activities that are safe after your pacemaker procedure and what activities to avoid until the wires heal and become stable. Overall, pacemaker procedures are very safe and well tolerated. If you are experiencing inappropriately slow heart rates, a pacemaker can get your heart back into gear, restoring your quality of life and protecting you from the dangers of the malfunctioning engine.